Hi, this is John Stevens again from MissingDrivers.com and again right now we're going to be reviewing the Driver Cure program from Pair 2 Logic and uh, this is video 2 of 2, we've already did uh, 1 of 2 and that one was for the actual installation of it and this is where we actually show you how to use the program and one of the first things we're going to do is just go over some of the issues. Now if you want to dive right into it you could just hit, st hit the uh, start scan button you'll notice that as soon as you uh, get done downloading and that'll actually go out and find all the drivers for you and everything like that. However, the uh, main purpose of this video is to go over some of the settings. Uh, nobody wants to read a, a, a manual and they're all written by technical people here. So, so you know, having a video is absolutely awesome because this way you'll actually get to see exactly how to use a program. One of the first things I'd like to go to is we'll go ahead and go under settings. And under settings here, you're going to see in this first one, this is the download location. This is the location where all the files were actually going to be downloaded to if, if you, uh, uh, when you choose to download them. Now you could choose uh, automatically download detective I detected items. That way it'll automatically download to that particular location each and every time um, it has an update of some kind. Now usually I actually don't use this feature. And the reason why is just because there's some drivers I just don't care to have downloaded. Uh, but if you did, you just check that box. And I would highly recommend you hit the Browse button and actually select uh, a, a folder to put it in, probably My Documents, and then hit the uh, New Folder and, uh, you know, Driver Updates or something along those lines. That That's if you, that, that once again, that's if you wanted that on. Um, I myself would not use that. Um, this is also something I would turn off by default. It's on um, scan on startup. I uh, know you don't you don't need another program auto starting on your system. Uh, yeah, chances are you got this because you're missing a driver, you can't find it, or you're having a lot of issues with multiple drivers that are out there. This is a fantastic product, but at the same time, it, it, you know it's it, you just don't need to run it every day, and uh, it's just going to slow your system down overall, albeit very very minute. But, you know, once you get 10 or 15 auto starting programs, hey, they all take their toll, right? So I, I would uncheck that. And then this, you do, this is going to be checked by default, and you want to make sure it stays checked. Set a system restore point before installing items. You always want to do a system restore before you install any program. Uh, um, that's what I recommend. So I would just keep that. And this is a really cool feature right here, the email settings. This is where you can actually... Uh, put in your first name, last name. It doesn't even have to be your real first name or real last name there. Uh, the big thing is just the email address. And that way, once you scan here, uh, they'll go ahead and they'll email you. Um, that way you don't even have to technically run the program, uh, even though I would still run it probably once a month or once every four months or something like that. Now we'll go ahead and hit uh, cancel or close that down. And I would set the, the email settings once again so you can get alerts. And you don't have to, but but it is a, a valuable option that, that this program does allow. Now, under the history, history is going to be where you're going to see all the history that has done. Uh, so any updates that you yourself installed, it's not something you'll really revert to, but it's something you can use and you actually have an undo button uh, to there. Um, ignore, um, this is where the list of hardware's uh, right there. You can remove items from the ignore list. Um, so they won't be scanned. So let's say you had a printer or some other software program or some other hardware that's on here that you did not want this program ever updating for whatever particular reason. Um, you can actually add it in here or remove it here. Um, schedule. And this is, this is nice because you can actually schedule it uh, um, you, you know, every Monday, Friday of every week. And you can actually schedule this when you actually want this to run, if at all. Um, w with a program like this, I myself wouldn't even schedule anything. I just would uh, go into that settings and, like, once again, I would uncheck the uh, start uh, scan on startup. I would just have that unchecked, and I'd run it probably once a month uh, to once every four or five months. And, and you will find that th this program is great. It, it cuts down on all kinds of issues that you could be having with printers and new features and things like that. And the about page, hey, that's pretty much a self-explanatory. That's where you can check for updates. Now, as soon as you uh, do uh, register the product, you are going to want to go ahead and hit update and let the updates run because we just bought the product um, here uh, for this particular demo uh, on this system. Um, the, 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 there's no need to update it. It's already going to be updated. But that's something you do always want to go under is the about page and do a scan or the about page and do an update for it. So we'll go ahead and hit go and hit the stand, start scan. You can see this is a really simple program to use. Uh, you, you know, everything we've done so far has been a uh, 
Uh, pretty self-explanatory. It says, DriveCare has detected 24 critical drivers and software problems. Click the next button to continue. And really, here's where you can go and, and you can actually view which, uh, uh, let me see, next. To, if you wanted to go next, it's going to go through them all. Downloading update for blah, 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 blah. Uh, the chipset family. And that is a pretty, actually a pretty big one. I'm going to hit cancel real quick. Okay. Start scan again. Just because I didn't really want to do that yet scroll over here and here I don't have any that are missing but if I did um, right on this side you'd be able to see uh, they'd have big red X's on them outdated software up-to-date drivers and you, you know this is this is great if you had Vista and you downgraded to let's say XP and your manufacturer doesn't have the drivers gateway is infamous for that for people who downgraded they don't even carry the drivers and good luck trying to find you, you know your motherboard part on a laptop or something like that it can be it, it, mind-blowingly frustrating and th th this tool can be a lifesaver. It's extremely easy to use, and this will help resolve a lot of system issues. And it's part of the any bag of tools. If you're looking for do-it-yourself tune-up tools, this is it. Uh, all right, that's going to conclude our driver cure uh, review. And as you can see, all the settings I went through them in just like two minutes. You know, it's really easy to do. You just hit next, then you'd uh, actually go to the um, wh where it is that you actually want. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the location where it downloaded the driver to, which uh, we set already under, let me hit cancel, under settings. That's just your download location there. It, you chose, I chose it earlier and that was uh, the, uh, let me find it again, my documents, and I believe we said driver. Yep, driver updates. And that's just where where the updates will actually be is the location you selected there. Undo, boom, okay, okay. And that that concludes it. And uh, be sure and watch any of the other videos on our site here. Uh, we do uh, feature uh, several others, um, the driver update programs too as well. But this is driver cure is one of my favorite. And uh, again, that's going to be missingdrivers.com. And you take care. Thank you.